girl <laughs> y'all yes it's a chit chat video yes i'm in my kitchen bear with me <clears throat> excuse me y'all because i cook even with my husband being away i cook every so often i figured why not do a chit chat video while i'm cooking and i'll can talk to y'all like you my good judy and i'll get in here really close while i'm talking and cooking um so y'all know how we do this i talk about what's going on in my personal life what i'm watching on youtube and what i'm watching on tv so girl in this chit chat i'm gonna be cooking i'm gonna show you everything excuse the background jb's plan it's saturday okay and i'm cooking a cuban dish called picadilla i think that's how you pronounce it picadilla so it's not gonna be authentic but i saw this recipe y'all first of all I was on Instagram, like I'm always am. Um, and oh, by the way, I, I've, I'll show y'all what I've been drinking on Instagram, girl. And so then I'm like, so I went ahead and zoomed in, girl. So I'm on Instagram, right? And I saw this person making this beef with onions and, and bell peppers, and she she put potatoes in it. I'm like, oh, you disrespectful. Then she's like, you can eat this with either rice beans i saw another person he he ate it with some tortillas i said this is speaking to my soul so i already had some of the ingredients went to the store got the rest so traditionally i'm not gonna make it traditional but i'm gonna show y'all the ingredients i have so far so uh green pepper red pepper tomatoes jalapenos they don't go in cuban that goes in mexican the dish white onion then we have, woo y'all, potatoes, garlic. I don't have oregano. I know oregano goes in it. Um, and also the traditional recipe calls for, hold on y'all, something's in my eye. You put raisins in it and olives, again, Cuban. I got raisins, but I, I, I don't think I'm going, and I don't like olives. You could do capers. I don't like capers, so we ain't gonna do that. Um, y'all, sorry, my child's gonna be crazy. Um, tomato paste, you typically don't do that, but I have seen like tomato sauce, but I don't have tomato sauce, tomato paste. Goya, and we got sazon, Cuban, salt, pepper, other stuff. Now I'm gonna make mine, I'm gonna have rice. I think I may do cilantro lime rice or just regular rice. I got some tortillas here, some corn tortillas that I may just flash fry up real quick to scoop some, oh that sounds good, scoop it up with some rice. I'm, you know, big back behavior, okay? And I could eat this all week because this is my husband's gone because we're going about to tear it up. So drinking girl, what are you drinking? Now, I'm going to put this out the way. OK, so I stopped by and well, this morning we back up. JB likes to go out to eat at Denny's like he's 65 years old. Somebody's granddaddy. I have never seen no kid like Denny's as much as he do. And we'd be there early. Like, seriously, we were there at nine o'clock this morning and we were the youngest one. Everyone else had gray hair. And, and yeah so but i had breakfast it was the first time i actually ate at denny's in years almost 20 years um but girl what's the point so the liquor store was next door and i figured you know what there's this on the rocks my tie by croissant i said let me pick that up because i hadn't had it in like a couple of years baby this had this is way too strong y'all 20 percent alcohol 40 proof I said, yeah, no. Nah. So we, we went back to this. So this is what I'm drinking on. But even this is like 13.9. Sorry, baby. 14%. I'm adding juice to it. Okay. So we're going to put this away. And we're going to start cutting up food. And we're going to start cutting up food and stuff while I talk to y'all. How y'all doing? So y'all know how we do this. Y'all, I'm so sorry. This, I'm a mom. It is what it is. Now, JB wants some fries. So you don't know, JB doesn't eat meat. He has his own personal reasons. So I'm going to make him some french fries. I like to use butter potatoes for his french fries. What I do is I cut these up. I slice them up. I boil them. It's called parboiling. Um, then let them cool down and then i fry them up for him now potatoes go in this sauce too this dish but what i'm going to do with my potato because i saw somewhere where 
someone recommended lightly frying your potatoes and then putting it in and it gives it a whoever that is must be fat as hell because that sounds like something i would do so i'm definitely going to do that too um so y'all let's talk about what's going on in my personal life besides being fat and cooking um normally when my husband leaves i lose weight i don't think that's going to happen this year i really don't i should say that it made it because i honestly don't cook as much like I'll probably cut down to cooking twice a week. Um, so, yeah. So, y'all, let me see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so, my husband left yesterday for Phoenix of all places, y'all. He went back to our home. Well, at least JB's home. Texas is my home, okay? Um, so, he took a job there, and he'll be there till January. We're going to go visit him in December. With the with the snowbirds, child. Yeah, so y'all, if you notice one of my vlogs, my aunt and godmother passed away um, due to cancer. It was unexpected. She was feeling bad. Went to the doctor in early September. By mid September, she had a diagnosis of cancer. They couldn't do anything but make her comfortable. When my mom called me up about it and I, I mean was telling me some things, we, we all started to make the trip down. I mean, everyone came down, um, meaning most of my family members from, not most of them, but a, quite a few came, came from even from out of state. People came from California because this is one of the older aunts. And so she unfortunately succumbed to her cancer. And it was just so sad because... She was doing good. I mean, she was starting to lose weight. I remember the last time I saw her, well, was in July. Hold on, y'all. In July at my cousin's party. And she was well. I was like, okay, I, I see you, Aunt Velma. You all cute. I said, who you, who you getting cute for? She started laughing. I said, who are you trying to be fine for? Because she lost a lot of weight. She said she lost 50 pounds. That's just so sad, y'all. It is, there's so many people. I feel like there's so many people dying unexpectedly. It's just heartbreaking, heartbreaking. So, um, the holidays are coming up. <laughs> are y'all ready? Let me tell you, I went ahead and got super prepared this year. I've already gotten JB's gifts. I'm done. I am done. They are all but a few are in. And we're going to start <clears throat> decorating uh, more tomorrow, child. He wants to decorate super early. Which, if my child wants to decorate early and do all that, I'm going I'm to allow it, okay? You only get this one time to be this young. I don't want a lot of onions in this, but might as well. So anyway, y'all, who are we talking about? Y'all see my TV? I got a TV in the kitchen. Hold on, let me move it around so y'all can see it. Look at JB. You see? Yeah. I've always wanted a TV in the kitchen, so I, I keep that on while I'm cooking or whatever. So anyway, y'all, what are we talking about? Oh, so the holidays. So yeah, I already got JB stuff. Um, and then, child, my family don't cook like that anymore. Oh, y'all, why did y'all tell me I wasn't in the camera? Look at my baby. Y'all see him in the back? He's so cute. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, look, this is, look, I even got the old school letters. Look at JB's picture. I put JB's spelling test, JB's pictures, J, child. So anyway, um, my family don't cook like that anymore. Like no one really cooks. Now they cook for their families, but there's no big, okay, we're going to go over to big mama. She's going to cook. Like my mama doesn't even cook anymore. So, I was asking my best friend what she's going to do. Child, she's having some family issues. So, I don't think she's even going to cook. Um, so, for Thanksgiving, like I said, I'm going to go down to my mom for the community event. But that's the week before Thanksgiving. I would probably fix me a little Thanksgiving dinner for two and have that for the week. And then for Christmas, we're going to be in Phoenix. Yeah. We are going to be in Phoenix. Hold on, y'all. 
Ooh, chow. I don't have to cut up these jalapenos because they just sit in the dish and soften up the garlic. Wait till later on. I told this child several times to shut the heck up. Y'all, something in my eye. The cooler weather in Texas. Texas is so disrespectful. One minute is getting cooler, the next minute. Like literally the temperature this week is going to go from 60 to 70 to almost 90. I'm like, are you serious? And of course it's getting darker earlier, which I don't mind. I just have to be careful when I leave early taking Jamie to school because girl, I can't see at all. I cannot see at night. I don't, I don't drive at night typically. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm trying to get these videos out. As you can see, I'm doing a lot more reviews because I know I've, I've been telling y'all I was going to do reviews and I haven't but I finally did some so they're coming they're coming in their schedule so really that's what's really going on in my personal life what I'm watching on TV before I get into all of that y'all I was shocked I'm on Instagram quite, quite a bit right and so what is his name the one that was like he was really popular on YouTube like almost 10 12 years ago leave britney alone did y'all know that he transitioned so hold on y'all did y'all know that he transitioned like baby i was shocked just randomly a video came up and i recognized his grandma who i think she's passed away since and i'm like what was his name y'all chris because he used to do porn or something for a while there child he gonna transition to a middle-aged soccer mom no nah, no nah, he looks like one of those moms that go to um to the wine events and just lit all the time i'm gonna say this and it is what it is I'm, I'm, uh, first of all you can do what the hell whatever the hell you want i'm okay with people who want to transi transition it just rubs me the wrong way sometimes when there's kids that are wanting to do it and they're not mentally developed yet so i think chris is it chris croker y'all i think he's over 30 at this point baby so fine but i think that a lot of times these people whoever you are need to go through a certain amount of therapy to make sure this is because once you do it i mean you that's why so many of them don't cut off the penis like what's her name um because i remember seeing a video with the one chick the one hispanic chick she said a lot of the girls she know went absolutely crazy when they cut that thing off so yeah anyway what's the point girl i just think that definitely should make a decision because i've been seeing i for a while i just see quite a few videos of detransitioning where, where they transition and now they want to go back and i'm like oh my god like that can really mess you i can only imagine the mental anguish you're going through where you have to do all that. But baby, he did this almost two years ago. And I'm sorry. He looks better when he was a boy dressing up as a girl. I'm sorry. He, because I think he did something to his face. Or maybe it's the extra estrogen. He, he, he ain't cute at all as a girl. He was, he was very cute as a boy. Very cute. But girl, I don't, he don't care about me in my opinion. So baby, do what you want to do. It just he doesn't look that great. He doesn't look as good as I as some of them look. Like what's the makeup girl who we all were surprised when she revealed that she was born a man? Y'all remember that? And we were like, what? Shut up. Child. Then when we saw those big ass hands, we like, oh, I see it. Now you you couldn't at first though, because you couldn't clock her. Cause she looked damn good. Yeah, I'm I'm getting lit now, so let me hush up. Y'all, this refrigerator, I ain't got hardly anything in here. Y'all see it? What is this? I am going to make some steak soup over the weekend and eat off of that for a few. Oh, right, y'all, I'm going to um, get JB's, his stuff together. So, yeah, y'all, I saw that video of him. I sent that to my good... All right, y'all, I'm going to do JB's potatoes. And I'm going to give him the longer potatoes because he wants french fries. So yeah, what else I'm watching on YouTube? Not really watching too much true crime stuff. I'm watching true crime back behind me, or at least listening to it. Um, I have my notes here. 
y'all again so many deaths going on a lot of celebrity deaths going on we know by now it's been a while now um both the dads from coming to america passed away but hell if the kids were older meaning um what, what's his name eddie murphy they all damn near 60 they live long lives okay they live very long lives but it's just so sad um so much violence still so many so many incels so these men y'all and I, I try not to get on this subject i really do but i am so sick of seeing people just dying for no damn reason i've seen so many and maybe because we are in the days day and age of social media and everything you can get information really fast but there are so many stories of people literally like being completely taken out like let me tell let me tell you this one real quick i was shocked i don't know when this was but i don't think it was this year i don't think it was this year so apparently this wife tricked her husband into getting getting him to kill his side piece and her entire family check this out complete fool he was a brother married to a hispanic a hispanic chick and his side piece which he called his work wife first of all i don't do that shit i know people i used to work with um when i was working in phoenix they would say there go my work husband and even some folks out here when i talk to them at work they'd be talking about there go my work husband there go my work i don't do that to me that's not cool you put me you you declaring that stuff out in the atmosphere i don't play that i don't do that no so his work wife, who became someone he was messing around with, his real wife was like, um, so if I can remember correctly, the work wife set up some fake accounts pretending like she was from the cartel, contacting her husband. Let me back up. The real wife, excuse me, his wife was pretending to be someone from the cartel, emailing her husband saying, you need to take out your mistress and the husband or we're gonna kill you don't you know his ass did it not only did he do that but this fool took out the kids and the dog you freak then they went on the run right they went on the run got cornered in he ended up killing his wife and then taking himself out absolutely crazy like that 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 seriously blows my mind, y'all. Like, that's crazy to me. Yeah, I didn't realize that Carlos King was from East Texas, my area. <clears throat> Carlos King did recently where this teenager, a brother, killed his entire family because they didn't allow him to go see his girlfriend. And when I mean the entire family, his siblings, his mother, his father... And I think his oldest brother, girlfriend, who was pregnant. Now, one of the siblings, the, the youngest boy, was able to escape. Y'all, a lot of this stuff is demonic. Meaning that I think that people are spiritually unwell. I don't, I, let me say this. I don't think that demons are walking around doing this stuff. I think that people are spiritually unwell. It is really sad. I'm so sick of seeing it. I try not to look into that stuff, but because I'm so much into true crime. Yeah, so anyway, y'all, what else I'm watching? Um, baby, I'm about to watch Tyler Perry's acrimony. <laughs> y'all, does Tyler Perry like black people or black women? Let me say that. Let me just be be clear. We're gonna get into it because I did see divorce in the black. Did he do that? Yeah, I gotta put this stick of butter out because I'm making cookies too. Let me tell you something. I couldn't even finish that damn movie. Like, I seriously couldn't. And then he has another thing on Netflix <clears throat> that I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that either. So sometimes it makes me that, first of all, I think that Tyler Perry needs to get some writers, some other people to do some stuff for him because everything has the same cookie cutter feel. And so I be asking myself, does Tyler Perry even like black women? Like... You may love us, but do you really like us? I'll be wondering. Child, Tyler Perry don't give a damn about me, but I'm just wondering. 
All right, y'all, I'm making JB's cutting up his fries like this. Can y'all see that? And I told him he needs to eat an apple <clears throat> and I'll make these cookies for him. And that is it. I'll do another potato. So y'all, what else am I watching? Um, y'all, it is so sad that Sissy Houston passed away. And I think that is such a damn shame that she went before her daughter and her granddaughter. That is just so sad, y'all. Where did my other potatoes go? Girl, maybe I need to show, slow down on the alcohol if I think I'm, I'm, I'm losing potatoes. Um, what I'm watching on TV, child, I watch Long Legs. First of all, I was seeing the trailer for it for months before it came out. I finally bought it on YouTube actually. And it was, I was pleasantly surprised because I heard it, it got just mixed reviews just from the, from the reviews. But y'all, I liked it. And of course it had that fine ass, huh? Mm -hmm. Blair Underwood has been fine all his life. Fine, I see he got a new haircut. I saw from the Jennifer Hudson. I think Blair Underwood is older than my daddy, but he is fine oh my god that man is whew, get behind me satan he is so good looking but um he was in it playing a detective y'all the craziest and i know i'm all over the place the craziest movie i ever saw him in i can't remember the name of it i just remember he plays a serial killer and it was not what you expected it was seriously not i think he was a yeah yeah, either he was a he was a psychopath. It was him and the other guy that played in the abyss. Yeah, I'm really bad with names, but good with movies. Blame it on blame it on the uh, tequila. So, Long Legs is on YouTube. Four ninety nine. Buy it. Watch it. Okay, um, I'm gonna watch um from season three. I am so confused. But I'm still watching it. There's a lot of things that are coming forth. And I'm like, okay, I, I don't understand what's going on. But, okay. Uh, I'm still confused. Like, or oh, is anything going to be revealed this season? Yeah, it's all of this. To me, this is about as confusing as Dark was. You've never seen Dark? First of all, watch it. Because you got to check out Middle Jonas. If you've been watching my chit chat videos, I have a crush on Middle, Middle Jonas. He's like 53, 54 years old. The actor, he's he's German. Um, I don't know what else. Anyway, y'all, it's confusing. From season three, though, it's not what you expect if you haven't seen it. It's not what you. But I'm I'm confused as hell. I'm very confused. But I'm still gonna watch it. Um, also watching Reasonable Undoubt on Hulu. I absolutely love this series, y'all. I really do. I have a crush on the husband, too. To me, that's my type of man. He's, like, lean. He's not really, really fit, but he's not fat either. He's lean. He got that weird ass, what's his name, from um, Get Out. Y'all know who I'm talking about. In Atlanta. Uh, Lakeith Stanfield. Who, who the hell ran Lakeith off of Instagram? Because his weird ass is not on there anymore. And I was, I was low-key stalking him. Between him and Pierce Bronson, I was stopping both their asses. And like, keep been off of Instagram for a couple of weeks now. So I think one of y'all, one of you hoes, okay, we been, one of y'all um, make him go away. The Lakeith is weird as hell, y'all. Anyway, um, the husband is weird too. Unreasonable, unreasonable doubt, and he's fine, y'all. He is fine, fine, fine. Anyway, loving it. Morris Chestnut is on there, and like I stated, I had no idea his ass was married. 30 years he's been married. Yeah, my potatoes for the soup is done, or whatever you want to call it, girl. They're done. I don't want to do too many. I didn't have, well, I do have carrots, but they're shredded carrots, so I don't have the type of carrots I would add for this, so we're not going to do it. Let me go through these potatoes and just take out the ones that are Okay, what else am I watching, y'all? Um, hold on. 
So, I rewatched Gone Girl. Let me tell you something. I can't stand that heifer so much that I don't even I, I don't even know her name as an actress. She played in I Care A Lot. I hated her ass in that, that movie too. Or was it a series? It was a series on Netflix. So I saw Gone Girl, of course, when it first came out. I got the book too. I mean, I may be upset when I read that. When I tell you she is the most hated, even more hated than, in my opinion, um, the, the, uh, the brother <laughs> from one of the Tyler Perry movies. Yeah, this heifer is on the list because she did a lot. But anyway, um, watch Gone Girl over the weekend. And I'm like, girl, I, even, I forgot half of the plot. I was like, oh, she was um, Amazing Amy. Amazing ass, crazy ass Amy is what they should have called her. I was like, wow, this is... Now, in a way, her character, I think her family, meaning her parents, really did her uh, disservice by creating that book. And so I think for most of her life, at least in the movie and in the book, she tried to live up to this fake amazing Amy and then when she could she was like I'm gonna fake my death and blame my husband and then kill myself I'm like you crazy whole bag like this doesn't make any sense so um amazing ass crazy ass Amy yeah I am gonna take out these little bitty because I think that they're gonna get mushy even if I fry them or you know pan fry them Deja Vu, child, I watched Deja Vu a while back. Did I tell y'all I watched Deja Vu with, with, let me tell you something. Denzel Washington Finance, Gladiator 2 is coming out and Denzel is in it. I'm going to be on the front seat waiting on him, especially since Denzel is going to be salt and pepper in this. Well, child, I, I, <laughs> let me tell you something. Y'all, that is it. I'm rambling at this point, and I know y'all don't want to... This is going to be a mess of a video, child. Um, I will try to get back on camera and at least show you guys what the final product looked like. If I can remember. If I don't remember, baby, don't blame me. Okay, blame, blame, blame it on the... I, I, yeah, that's what you're going to have to do, honey, because it is what it is. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.